Vossler's RC series of reels are distinguished by their simplicity, functionality, and understated elegance. The RC in their name stands for rim control, which means drag pressure is applied by palming the exposed rim of the spool. It's a wonderful system for fighting smaller fish species like trout and grayling. Regular RC reels have a more traditional, fairly small arbor, while RCLs feature a large arbor which allows for a faster retrieve and fewer line memory coils. RC and RCL reels come in three different models based on line weight and backing capacity, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. The spools on all RC series reels click smoothly and equally in both directions, meaning no changes are necessary in order to operate the reel with either your left or right hand. To remove or change the spool, orient the reel so the frame side is facing you. Using both your thumbs, press the spool out of the frame. Notice how wonderfully simple the inner workings of the reel are. To replace the spool, slip it over the spindle making sure the head of the bolt on the spool is aligned with a U-shaped channel that runs the length of the spindle. Squeeze the spool and frame together until you feel and hear a positive snap. This indicates the spool is locked onto the spindle. In order to adjust the brake force on the reel, first remove the spool from the frame. Unscrew the single Phillips head screw and take off the gold colored locking washer at the end of the axle and spindle assembly and remove the spindle from the axle. RC series reels ship with a single elastic pressure piece installed. To increase the drag force, insert up to three pieces into the appropriate holes. Extra pressure pieces can be found in the clear windows on the back of the attractive, well-ventilated Kodora and rubberized mesh reel cases that accompany each reel. Removing an elastic pressure piece can usually be accomplished with just your fingertips, but some may require tweezers. With the desired number of pieces in place, slip the spindle over top of the axle. Make sure the gold locking washer drops down into place. Then insert and tighten the Phillips head screw. Finally, replace the spool and you're ready to fish. Simplicity has many advantages, and these reels are terrific examples of why less is often more. They're attractively priced and a great value as well.